What's up, homies? I know y'all probably like, damn, dang, you fucking up that cheddar cheese biscuit. I know. Listen, guys. I missed the episode of the podcast. Uh, I missed the week. I know, I know, I know. Can y'all not get mad at me? Can y'all can y'all just like give me a kiss and tell me it's gonna be okay? Cause listen, guys, I ain't gonna lie. Finals was beating my ass. I didn't even get to post. I haven't. I haven't even posted a YouTube video in like a week. Like I was supposed to do reaction videos for the whole month of April. Allison Chains April, but you know, I'm still gonna release those like the last like what I think it's like eight vi eight songs I didn't get to. I'm probably release like whatever. Whatever, you know, let's just, you know, whatever, but it's, it's been a tough journey. I'm not going to lie. I almost, I almost missed one of my finals. Can y'all believe that? I almost missed a final. If one of my classmates didn't text in a group me saying, don't forget we have a final today. I would have been that one who forgot we had a final today. Did I pass? Yes. 90%. Get off my body. I'm saying that class is over with now. I submitted my final paper and everything. You know, life, I ain't gonna lie, being a college student is rough, guys. Like, people take that shit. It's not even that, like, being a college student that I'm also, like, working a full-time job. I'm also, you know, trying to take YouTube more serious. Just recently figure out how to um, stream from my laptop, so that's a plus, so, you know. You know, I'll, I'll probably talk more about that in the reaction videos, but I think I'm going to start streaming on Twitch a little more. So if you guys want to check that out, please do, because we're about to be playing games and stuff on that joint. We're about to just be chilling and relaxing together, you know, until I pop, until I could figure out how to connect my PlayStation. Once I figure out how to connect my PlayStation to Twitch, bro, it's curtains like to my laptop. If I could do that, it's curtains. If you guys know how to do that, let me know in the comments below. Cause until I get this is just until I get a PC. But before any of that happens, how are you guys feeling? You know, I haven't seen you guys in a while. You know, also I haven't done a podcast episode in a long time. So I ain't gonna lie, the last solo podcast I did, I was a little depressed. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, nigga was sad. I didn't have the energy for it, but I still released it because I didn't want like I didn't want y'all not to have a video that that was like a few weeks ago, maybe like a month, month and a half ago where I released that episode. Um, it wasn't really a funny episode. I didn't enjoy it. The energy wasn't there. You see me today. I'm all excited. You know what I'm saying? I made breakfast today. I made pancakes, eggs, and bacon. Get with me. Stop playing with me. You know, but before we get into that, all that stuff, guys, I'm honestly thinking about starting a Patreon soon having more exclusive content on there i don't know what it's all going to detail maybe just it might just be podcast stuff but more x-rated like you know put a paywall through like the videos where i think i'm gonna say wild shit so once I, i'm probably gonna do that i'm gonna start setting everything up we're gonna have a whole sooner or later we're probably gonna have a rebrand rebranding thing maybe even try to get a logo and some shit you know but Life is amazing. It is what it should be. All right, but um, let's get into it. Let's listen, guys. Can can we just can we just have a conversation real quick? Can we can we like be transparent with each other and talk to each other for a second? Did y'all miss me? Did y'all miss me? Damn, we had 115 subscribers on YouTube. That's nice. Did y'all miss me though? I really want to know. Cause y'all, y'all not telling me y'all miss me. I need, I need that reassurance. This is like a relationship right here. Let me stop playing with y'all. But anyway, so like, I, all right. So one of these days, I was um, I th I think I was on uh, I was playing a game with some people and they were talking about lollies and shit, right? So it made me think about all right for the people who don't watch anime. Lolly is basically like um, a woman that looks like a little girl, like a little girl, right? So I'm like, no, nah, I could never do that. Like, that's not me. I'm not attracted to that. But it got me thinking, which one would, like, I'm going to ask you this question. Which one would you rather fuck, a midget or a lolly? Because I ain't going to lie, the midgets be... 
Might just be looking like a double stack pa fucking pancake from IHOP. I ain't gonna lie. They be compressing and shit. They be thick as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. It's just one. It's just. Anyway, so, for, but back to it. Would y'all rather fuck a midget or a lolly? I already got my answer. I'm not fucking a lolly. I'd rather fuck a midget. And why, you might ask? Because, one, a lolly, that's, they look like a little girl. Like, be honest with me. That's giving pedophile vibes. If you like lollies, I feel like you're a pedophile. Like, you're, you're, on, you're, on, you're borderline pedophile. Is that fuck up to say? Am I kink shaming? I don't think... That's kink shaming, but if it is, fuck it. Fuck it. Cause why y'all why y'all not so into lollies? And I'll be saying, first of all, lollies built like fucking cardboard. Like they got no chest, no ass, they just be lollying. Like, no. Go get yourself a midget who be fucking double thicked up on every day of the week. And probably got the Gawk Gawk 3000. Maybe not Gawk Gawk 3000, probably Gawk Gawk 1500, because you know, they're a little smaller, they have. Not gonna go there, not gonna go there with that joke. I'ma chill, I'ma chill. But honestly, midget all the way. Like I was saying, <laughs> listen, the midgets be going crazy. I, I got also a question, y'all ever watch midget porn? I, I feel like if you say if I feel like if you say you haven't watched midget porn, you're a liar, and I'm calling you out right now. If you if you go in my comments right now talking about you never seen midget porn, I'm calling you a liar. We've all seen midget porn. Let's be honest, we all have been curious to see what that little thing be thinking. But I'm not gonna lie, I haven't. Actually, I have. I've watched all types of it's it's different type of midget porn. You got you got the 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 um I guess. I won't even say regular. I guess regular size person, and then you have your little person, and then you got well, regular size man, little person, woman, or little woman, whatever, and then you got the little man with your. Then you know it's vice versa, and then you got both little people. And listen, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know how those little women be taking those big old BBCs though, cause that's why I've seen it, and it's wild. I feel like if a, a, a little woman, like a midget, takes a BBC. That shit is in her heart, bro. Like, it's no way it's not in her heart. It is literally no way. Like, she could literally feel it in her stomach. She probably feel it in her heart. His heart start beating and shit. It start beating to the strokes. Cause you out here touching her heart. About to fucking stop her heart and shit. You need to chill. You should not, I don't know. De I'm definitely fucking a midget over Lolly. Like, no, no questions, no, that's just factual information right there. But I'm just thinking like, think about like the niggas who be into midgets and they be like six feet tall. To them, bro, imagine imagine someone fucking a midget with a form, forearm for a dick. That is drunk, like you, you I feel, can't, I gotta, I'm low key curious. Like has there ever been like an incident of like someone killing a like a little person because of like, them fucking and like how do you explain that to someone like I understand like love is love I'm not judging but like how does like a little person fall in love with like not even a little person like a little person fall in love with a big person or a big person fall in love with a little person like how does that work does like the like it, it could just be personality are some people just attracted to midgets cause I know that's a I feel like that's a thing like how does that work like I don't know, I have a lot of questions now. I got a lot of questions. Like, I'm, I'm just curious, like... I, I still can't keep thinking about a BBC fucking a midget, though. Like, that's wildly insane to me. I don't know why, but I just thought about gay midgets, and... 
I just feel, I don't know why that's a wild thing to think of, but I just feel like that's, I'm going to just move on. Speaking, that was, I'm going to be honest, that was mainly intrusive thoughts. But like, speaking of intrusive thoughts though, y'all intrusive thoughts be wild too? Like, I'm talking about wild. Like, me personally, I remember being like in church as, as a child, right? And I'm just chilling. Like, I'm talking about, I'm like six or seven. And I'll be in church just chilling. You know, church be long as hell. No, no pun intended, whatever. Um, but it be long as hell, and, and you be like, damn. And you just be chilling, right? And I don't know where your mind be like, fuck God. And you be like, yo, you, you look around, make sure no one hurts your thoughts. And then you be like, I'm sorry, bro. Like, you don't mean it, but intrusive thoughts will do that to you, bro. Like, that shit crazy. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I be having mad intrusive thoughts. And it's never like... Like, my intrusive thoughts are never based off, like, how I feel or my personality or stuff like that. Like, for example, I'm very, I'm, I would, I'm going to say I'm very politically correct, but I feel like, like I'm politically, politi ooh, politically correct sometimes, you know? Like, I would never say the F word that rhymes with maggot. I would never do that. Like, I would never call anyone that. Just can't, right? Right? But my intrusive thoughts, I feel like intrusive thoughts are, no, that's, that might get me canceled. That might get me canceled. But I feel like intrusive thoughts are kind of like, I wouldn't say like Tourette's or like tics, but it's kind of like sometimes you just be chilling and you get those random thoughts, like, like randomly might say a slur in your head or like slurs pop up. Or you be thinking some wild shit, like you be in church saying fuck God, or like, or you be chilling and you be like, damn, what if I just kill someone right now or some shit like that? But, but you would never do it. You would never do it. It's like that that one video I seen, and it was like, the the person was like, I could kill someone, and then he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's like, is in the thoughts. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I won't, but I could. It's kind of. I feel like that's how intrusive thoughts are. Like, you know. I don't know. I don't know if that's just me, but I feel like I feel like it's it's a bad joint, and they be scaring me sometimes. These loud ass cars, they dicky in. I sometimes I hate living. This this is not even my topic, but sometimes I hate living in Philly, cause Philly niggas is just annoying, bro. Like you don't even understand. Like shit be drawn. Cause why would they? Why you need to be that loud? And first of all, why y'all got Hellcats in the hood? Niggas be spending like thousands of dollars on these cars and still eating at the poppies. Nothing wrong with the poppies, but still. How you how you spending all this money on cars and you still live in North Philly? Don't make sense to me. Just doesn't make any sense to me. I hate I hate it here sometimes. I can't wait until niggas get rich and can move out of fucking Philly. Like, this city is ass sometimes. Like, y'all probably see, like, all the crazy shit that happened. Like, yo, y'all city lit. No, it's annoying, bro. Like, I have love-hate for my... Love-hate relationship for my city, bro. Like, like since I'm born here and so whatever. Of course, I'm a rep Philly to the day I die. Man, but this, this should be crazy. Like, it's 429. Why you revving your engine like that? You dick-eating for what? You want my dick? I'm trying to record and you want to... Like... Shut up. I'm sorry. I had to get that off. I had to get that one off. Probably gonna have to get that one off a little more. But, um, okay. So, I saw, I saw this thing on TikTok, right? I'm not giving my opinion. I don't, I don't have the video, so. But it was this video of the guy who was talk. he was talking about how, like, women withhold sex or whatever. But soon as, like, the man be like, oh, I'm not in the mood. It's a big deal. And I was like, okay, I see where he's going with it because, you know, typically women might be like, oh, I'm not in the mood with And then, but if a guy says it's like, whoa, what you think I'm not, what you think I'm not sexy? What you think, you're not attracted to me, man? Like, you're not attracted to me anymore? But I feel like if women feel like that, then it should like take in consideration like how maybe a man might feel about like, yo, we're not doing this, we're not doing that. So if you feel like that when a man tells you no, how you think, a man feels when you tell him no, like 30, like not even 30 times, I'll say like 
five five times like like a five day basis and I'm not even talking about like random niggas I'm talking about like in a relationship in a relationship I feel like in a relationship if you're not having sex there's no relationship it's important niggas going niggas going cap and be like oh no even women going cap women just as horny y'all not slick TikTok has exposed y'all asses for the horny creatures y'all are. The thing, Loki, I think women are worse than men. The whole, I'm listen. I have some women friends that be slutting men out. You, yes, I said it. And I'm, and listen, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you right there, yup. You know who I'm talking about. When you watch this, you know who I'm talking about. Y'all be slutting men out, treating them like co a common whore. I'm glad I'm in a relationship. I don't want to be treated like a common whore. I have dignity. I have feelings. I'm more. Th I'm more than just a piece of meat. I'm more than an eggplant. Fucking talking about yo the shit I've seen. They took. It's a whole movement talking about use these men how they use you. No, don't do that. Don't do that. I don't care what Jada has done. Fuck Jada. Honestly, don't don't listen to her. She she listen. She did that to Will. Will's a good guy. Don't do that. Stop dicky in, please. Damn. Y'all y'all listen. Y'all get on my nerves. But like I said, women are just as listen. Listen, women are just as horny as men. Don't let them don't let them fool you. All right. They want to say, oh no, we're not, no, we're not. Shut the fuck up, cause you horny. Shut the fuck up. I damn. But like I said, like, don't withhold sex while you're in a relationship. Just honestly, like, just talk it out for real, for real. Like, I feel like in beginning relationships, I feel like every like everyone should talk about like either their sexual past or experience, and or like they should talk about like what they expect from like their partner when it comes to sex and stuff because it's like if you don't talk about it then it would never be heard like some niggas want to have sex every day some niggas only want to have sex three times a week some niggas only want to have sex two times a month i feel like if that's who you are then you need to find someone to match that type of energy like you need to talk to them like yo this how many times i'm gonna have sex a week or this how many times i'm gonna have sex a day like just have a conversation that's all it takes Communication is the key. And on that note, I know, I know the YouTube audience is about to hate me. He's like, they like, damn, day, you haven't been, you didn't, you missed the episode of the podcast, and you gonna cut it short like that? I'm not cutting it short. If you wanna watch more of the daycast, why won't you just click the link in the description, bro? Why won't you click the link in the description and listen to the rest of it? Why can't you do that for me? You talking about something? You want more? You want more? You could listen to the full audio. You could listen to the audio while, you know what I'm saying, you with your with a shorty or something cracking the fuck up, be like, oh my god, this nigga funny. You could be on your way to work listening to this succulent voice. I don't even know if that's the right word to use, but I used it. You could be working out listening to me right now. Come on, bro, you listen, bro, if you listen to this while you working out, one more set. I wanna I wanna I wanna see you give me ten more. Give me ten more. I want you 10 more. Matter of fact, drop and give me 15, nigga. Pussy. I'm sorry, you, you didn't deserve that. That was supposed to be motivational and it turned like very violent. I'm sorry. The Philly came out of me. I'm sorry, bro, too. All right. <laughs> but YouTube audience, I'm sorry. Guys, you know, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the post notification bell. You know, go in the description, follow all the socials. Listen, start, everyone who watches this, click the link in the description, follow Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook if you're on it. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, not that pressed about the Facebook, but I would appreciate it. And make sure you follow the Twitch. I'm telling you now, we're about to be active as hell on Twitch. I'm talking about, I'm probably, I'm going to, I'm gonna be honest, we're probably gonna be streaming on Twitch almost every day from now on. Twitch will be getting content heavy. So if you really want us, and we're gonna be live, so there's no editing, none of that shit. So if you really rocking with us, come follow us on Twitch, bro. We about to get this shit twopping. And also I'm thinking about 
doing some other shit. But um, that's been the end of the visual experience for the YouTube audience. I hope y'all enjoy that. You know, like, comment, subscribe, hit the post notification bell once again. And you know, this, I just want to say one more thing before I give you a kiss. Drink some water, nigga. Drink some water. Clear up your skin. Your pee smell like cat piss. Drink some water. And you know what? While you at it, put that slice of pizza down, nigga. You think that's going to help your acne? Listen, I, I got to learn too, but put that and I see you over there. You think you slick, nigga? Put that shit down and drink some water and eat a strawberry. Just one strawberry, nigga. Now here's, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm so violent with y'all today, but here's a kiss, YouTube. Mwah.